Tactics, this is Chris. Hey, uh, I was just calling because I had some questions about those New Balance 600 shoes. You know, the Tom Knox Pro model? Dude, they look pretty sick. I actually just got a pair of them. Oh, really? Do they skate well? I don't know. Let me go check. Hey, are you still there? Yeah. They skate great. Right after I took them out of the box, was walking around a while, I could feel they were really comfortable shoe and really good ankle support. After skating them about 30 minutes, they broke in really quick. They look great when I look down at my feet. And it's very light, which is super nice. Give me that. Hey, what's up? This is Caleb. I'm skating the leather pair of the Tom Knoxes. They look great. The shoe itself is very cushiony around the ankles. Just feels like you're sticking your foot in a pillow. They took a bit longer to break in, but other than that, they're super comfortable and I'm excited to keep skating. Nice, what about the fit? Are they true to size? I'd say they're true to size. They have a really wide toe box that narrows out towards the middle of your foot. I have kind of skinny feet, so I think it fit really well. I'd say the same for the leather, except for if you have wide feet, you might want to loosen the shoelaces up a little bit. As I started to skate them more, they got a little bit tight on my feet and started to hurt a little bit. What about the board feel and the flick? Board feels great. I didn't feel like I was too lifted off my board. You can really feel everything. It's not super chunky. And after doing a few flip tricks in them, I could feel that there was really good grip on the flick, but it wasn't too much. How's the impact? All right, let me go check. They got some pretty good impact protection. I just skated down some stairs and they felt great. And when I was jumping down them, I didn't get any hot spots or any heel bruises or anything. The midsole is this fuel cell foam material and it's super solid. The insoles are thin, but with that nice midsole, still a lot of impact protection. What about the durability? Hold on, let me uh, go skate some more. Hey, you still there? Yep. Holding up great so far. I've been skating these for about, I'd say, a month, and I've loved it. I like to do a lot of flip tricks, skate stairs and ledges. I ripped a lace pretty quick, but I generally do that with a lot of shoes, and I started to form a hole where I do my kick flips. But other than that, flick's still really solid, and I haven't gotten a hole in the ollie area. The stitching is wearing away, though, but they're holding up really solid. Hey, this is Caleb. I skate mostly ledges and mani pads, like in Super Tech. And the most wear I got was on the ollie spot and a little bit of the toe where I flick. My bottom shoelace ripped a little bit, but it lasted pretty well, maintained their structure. The sole of the shoe stayed nice and sticky, lots of grip. Uh, never felt like I was sliding on my grip tape or on my board. Yeah, the stitch on the back of the heel cup busted open from doing heel flips, but it's just like an aesthetic. It doesn't really do anything for the shoe, and the stitching underneath it is double stitched and hold up really good. Super breathable shoe. Never felt like my feet were getting hot. Not get so stinky. I was surprised at how these skated. They look super tech, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna last, but they're actually way more durable than some other shoes I skated, so that was a huge bonus. My favorite thing about the shoe, the flick of the shoe, and the shape. I haven't skated anything with this type of profile. I'm loving it. Hey guys, I appreciate all the info. Yeah, dude, no problem. If you want to get a pair, go to Tactics. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go get pizza or something? Yeah, dude. Yeah, okay, let's go.